From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Engineering and plant services provider Babcock and machine industry company Volvo Construction Equipment in June launched the new generation of Volvo articulated haulers and excavators to the southern African markets. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. The update is an overhaul of Volvo Construction Equipment's existing articulated hauler lineup with revamped updates to the established A25, A30, A35, A40, A45 and A60 haulers, as well as the introduction of an entirely new class machine, the 45T A50. The new Volvo excavator range, meanwhile, comprises the EC210, EC220, EC260, EC300 and EC360. Babcock Equipment MD David Vaughan expands. We've been the official Volvo dealers in uh, Southern Africa for 25 years. Um, tonight we're in Middleburg and uh, we're launching the new range of articulated dump trucks and uh, excavators as well. So we are in Middleburg for a specific reason. This is the heart of the coal fields and uh, lots of our machines, particularly the articulated dump trucks, are used in, uh, in coal mining. Tonight we launched the, A, uh, the A40, the A45 and the all new A50. Big differences is that the A45 and the A50 has got an in-house um, designed and manufactured transmission. So for the first time, a Volvo transmission in the A50. This Volvo transmission will also go into the A60, which will be launched later this year. Um, one of the biggest differences as well is that the A50 uh, has a fully uh, a full suspension system, so it's got a hydraulic suspension system, uh, improves uh, productivity, uh, reduces fuel consumption and uh, much more um, uh, more comfortable for the operator to, to operate in. The other big thing is that uh, it's the biggest change or updates that have been done to the articulated dump truck range in more than 20 years. One of the biggest changes on the new range of ADTs is the um, the fact that the complete electronic system has got a new platform. So what this, is, this allows, and just for example, I'll give you uh, two examples in fact, is all the hardware is already in the machine. So if a customer elects and wants load weighing, uh, for, ex for example, all you do is load that into the machine on the software side of things. Um, so that's a, that's a very big plus. And then the connectivity for the machine, um, as far as fault finding goes, productivity, etc that just gets loaded directly uh, in, into the hardware that's already in the machine. Uh, the machines are more fuel efficient, they're more productive, um, they, they obviously burn less fuel which is good for the environment. There's a whole lot of new safety um, features in the machine, just for example on the new ADTs there's a side camera that comes standard, the reverse camera or rear camera has always been there, now you, you can, uh, you've got side cameras on both sides so you can, have a, you can see if anybody's approaching the machine and, and that sort of thing. Tonight, for the first time, we'll see the new A50, uh, which, is, um, which is a brand new machine. We've never had that uh, size machine. That fills the gap nicely between the A40 and the A60. Um, furthermore, the, the Volvo articulated dump truck is market leader worldwide and in South Africa. And the new range further cements our position as number one. There has been a gap in the market uh, for us, uh, in our product, not in the market, sorry, but in our product offering, where there was nothing between the, the A45 and the A60. So there's a big gap there, and we believe that the A50 fits that uh, per perfectly. In fact, uh, we've already sold 10 units, and they're busy being delivered as we speak. So it was uh, very, very exciting for us. Um, as I said earlier, it's got a full suspension system which uh, improves productivity, reduces fuel consumption, better for the operator, and it in improves the longevity of the machine because there's less vibrations going into the mainframe, going into the cab, going into the seat, uh, and going into the bin as well. Um, then, as I said earlier, uh, the new um, the Volvo transmission, that's a, that's a huge plus for us as well. Uh, on the A60, we've been using a, a third-party transmission. So when the A60 does come out uh, later in the year, that will have a, a in-house Volvo transmission as well. So the new AT ADT range, like all the other ADTs that we brought in prior to this, will be manufactured in Sweden at uh, their factory in Braus uh, in, in Sweden. We, we spec the machines uh, for local conditions. Uh, that's very important. Um, obviously, the machines are spec differently uh, worldwide, uh, depending on uh, applications and which country they're working in. 
and we will dis distribute these machines through our 23 uh, outlets in Southern Africa. That includes Zambia, includes Botswana, includes Namibia, and then obviously South Africa as well. Uh, the machines at this point in time are fully imported. On the excavator range, we uh, either bring the buckets in from overseas, depending what uh, the customer requirement is, but we can also manufacture uh, locally as well. What we do do to the ADTs, um, if it's, they're going into hard rock applications or chrome and, and uh, applications like that, we'll fit bin liners. If they, they go into a lighter application, coal, uh, that sort of thing, we can put bin liner, uh, uh, sorry, uh, race sides on, uh, on the bins to improve the carrying capacity. Vaughan also touches on the sustainability features of the new machines. Well, we're driven uh, not only by Volvo, but the Badcock Group worldwide is very, very serious about sustainability and looking after the planet as such. Um, at this point in time, the electric, uh, the pull from the market for fully electric machines is uh, is not really, it's there, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really small at the moment. I think we all know that we do face certain challenges in South Africa, and this is what Volvo is trying to do with the internal combustion engines or the ice the ice powered machines as such the machines we launch in this evening to try and make them more fuel efficient to try and them make them more productive the new adts for example use less fluid than uh, i'm talking now hydraulic fluid etc than the previous models and obviously that's good for for, for the environment because you, you don't have to recycle uh, as much fluid and, and and that type of thing vaughan also highlights how personnel were prepared for the launch in the region for the last two weeks prior to uh, this evening, we've had extensive training by Volvo. The first week de dedicated uh, to technical training, and the, sec and the second week technical and sales training. We've also sent, prior, prior to that training taking place, we've sent, I think it was eight people overseas, eight technicians, to have advanced training in, in, uh, in, in Sweden uh, with the view of train the trainer. So when those guys come back, they can uh, train our staff as well. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.